Well, Friday is the day that people can start visiting loved ones in nursing homes for face to face visits. The guidelines are clear, but there are concerns about keeping facilities COVID free and why all workers are not getting the shot. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing has this report. Just days before nursing homes get ready to welcome visitors to see residents, there are questions about guidelines. While it's recommended visitors get tested beforehand or take a rapid test at the site, if available, there's this. The other reason that you would have to restrict visitation is if there have been uh, cases within 14 days, and this is the CMS guidelines on this. Visitation depends on no COVID cases for two weeks in a facility. I reached out to the state health department to ask how realistic this is and how many nursing homes in Western New York have been COVID free for 14 days. According to a spokesperson, the 14 day COVID free requirement has been in effect for months as part of federal guidance. They also say out of 613 nursing homes across the state, currently 188 have been COVID free over a two week period. They also say 18 facilities are eligible for visitation in Western New York. We were not given a list of those specific nursing homes. One issue facing nursing homes is what this state chart tracks, vaccinations of residents and workers. As of Monday, 75% of nursing home residents have been vaccinated, only 54% of the workers. The union representing local nursing homes said in a statement that healthcare workers have the same concerns surrounding the risk of potential side effects and apprehension about the speed at which the vaccine was developed. Before with the Tuskegee experiment, and other experiments that have been done on African Americans, that still resonates in the mind of, of our people. And we don't want to be feeling like we're guinea pigs. Mark Blue chairs the State the Vaccination Health Equity Task Force and is a believer in the vaccine. He says many workers live in zip codes where vaccination numbers are low. He thinks word of mouth will help those who are hesitant to get the shot. If people are vaccinated, uh, those who are working in there, then the, the likely probability of those patients and residents in those nursing homes won't have it. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.